Hello everyone, my name is Noor Mohammed. I'm a PhD student at UMass Amherst. Today I'm going to talk about Shazam charge-free wearable devices via intra-body power transfer from everyday objects. Ultra-low power fitness trackers and smartwatches are gaining popularity since they allow non-obtrusive monitoring of vital signs. However, current charging ecosystem of these wearable gadgets require wire charger, which hampers the continuous tracking of health information. Study has found that most people use their bedtime to charge these devices. As a result, the devices lose important clinical information of individual sleep pattern. As we envision a future in which a user may wear multiple wearable devices, managing their batteries could be a tedious task. Last but not least, the Internet of Wearable Things or body sensor networks demand more batteries and charging wires which adds more electronic waste and leaving environmental footprint. To tackle the issue of continuous operation of wearable devices, our research team has introduced capacitive intra-body power transfer where we exploit human skin conductivity as a major carrier of electrical current to charge on-body wearable devices while maintaining safety concerns outlined by FCC. In our proposed approach, as you can see in the animation, the human body acts as a virtual red wire for the forward current flow and the air capacitance between the ground plates of transmitter and wearable device complements the black wire in a typical two-wired charging system. In order to make our idea work, we had to consider some critical design aspects such as electrode design, power transmission under safety level, and the parameters that can potentially affect the power transmission, such as movement and environmental artifacts and subjective power flow variations. For electrode design, we leveraged HFSS simulation software to find the geometrical constraints for the electrode system. For further details, I would like to refer our paper. To implement the idea into hardware level, our research team engineered a compact power transmitter that can be mounted on everyday objects and a batteryless ultra-low power device. The transmitter mainly includes a frequency synthesizer IC for AC power generation and the receiver contains a charge pump and a battery manager for efficient power management. Further details can be found in the paper. I would like to highlight one important design challenge that is transmission of sufficient power under safety level. Since human skin has poor conductivity in comparison to metal, so less power can be transmitted via intra-body channel. In order to maximize the transmission, we have found that a high-quality impedance matching network can be helpful without demanding the increase in transmitter power. In order to verify the feasibility of the proposed wireless charging scheme, we have implemented Shazam in three real-life scenarios as you can see in the pictures. We have instrumented three everyday objects that is keyboard panel in both desktop and laptop and steering wheel of car. The main motivation to instrument daily objects is the requirement of charging time and we selected these three cases where it is expected to have long-term contact with the skin electrode. In order to compute the DC power, we track the voltage across the storage capacitor at the receiver over a certain time period and then computed the transmitted power using the voltage capacitance and charging time information from each cycle. Our data showed that it was possible to transfer 0.5 to 1 milliwatt average DC power based on the data obtained from tail healthy human subjects. Note that among these three applications, the laptop setup resulted in low power due to the current leakage in the transmitter electrode system because of the underlying electronic components in the laptop. Nevertheless, this small power still could be useful for powering ultra-low powered wearable devices. We have also done a preliminary investigation on the parameter that could affect this intra-body power transmission to the wearable devices. For this, we have conducted baseline and follow-up experiments. Please note that 9 out of 10 subjects revisited the laboratory after 6 months during winter when humidity level was substantially low. We found that power level was reduced to approximately 50% than the baseline data. 
We also investigated two other cases, such as different hand postures and when user skin fails to make a direct contact with the transmitter's skin electrode. Nevertheless, all the results show that our system can support reliable power transfer even in presence of subtle motion artifacts. In summary, we were able to transfer 0.5 to 1 milliwatt DC power using Shazan charging system. To the best of our knowledge, this power level can be improved by implementing an adaptive tunable matching network that will account the subjective impedance variations. From our dataset, a decent amount of power transmission is also possible under a strong influence of humidity level, which will be an important future work for further exploration. If you have any question, feel free to ask me or email me. And if you like this work, don't forget to read our paper. Thanks, everyone.